Check it out, guys. Tyler's freaking out right now. I gotta see his expression. <laughs> He's like, he's like, oh my gosh, I got a button. The eagle button. Yeah. 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 What is up, guys? Crick Diggers coming to you Friday afternoon. I'm up here in Pennsylvania with my buddy Tyler from the Copper Poppers. And what do they call you, Kiefer? Yep, Kiefer. And Kiefer right here is going to come out and join us today. And we're waiting on James. So we came up here in the woods where Tyler said there's an old 1860s foundation right here behind me. I'll flip you around in a second and show you what uh, we're looking for. But yeah, out here spending the weekend with the copper poppers again. So check this out, guys. So you can see right here the old foundation. And uh, Tyler just pulled up a map that showed there was a road that came in here down from this direction. So we're thinking that either where I'm at is the front of this place or right there is the front of the place. But I got the probe. I brought it with me. No real high expectations, but I am going to probe around. There's a creek on the other side. I'm going to probe around, see if maybe I can locate a privy or a small little bottle dump, a little pit or something. But that's pretty cool. And then later on, we're going to go back out to where we were digging all the mason jars and the uh, war milk candy containers. Those sweet welder goggles and uh, see what we can find. Maybe do some metal detecting. I don't know. We're going to do a lot of stuff this weekend. Have another good cookout this evening. So just stay tuned for the action, guys. Let's see what we can get into. Let's get it. All right. So me and Tyler is out here. Going to walk. You can kind of see the old road now, Tyler, yeah. now I think about it. Some, yeah, yeah, see how it's, it's opened up, and then on the outside you got the smaller trees. Even on the inside, there's some trees, but you can see how they're they're a lot smaller diameter. They didn't used to be there. There's a really cool old tractor and like a lean-to shelter built kind of thing. That's awesome. But we're gonna just walk back through the woods, and uh, we're gonna do some privy digging, guys. We're gonna check out scenery as we go along got Tyler right here beside me James will be up here momentarily he's out at an antique store trying to score some bottles it looks like a cement roller I think <clears throat> I'm not sure it is neat love old stuff it's like an old uh, chicken coop stand Imagine what this looked like a hundred years ago. Probably had a garden or something right here is what I'm thinking. As lush as, as this is growing up. Some kind of old plow pieces. Beautiful back here. Absolutely beautiful. All grown up though. Wore uh, my proper attire today. Yesterday when I was out here probing, I was in my real nice tennis shoes. And a pair of shorts. But luckily I didn't get ate up by nothing. Poor Kiefer, he was at the hospital till like 1 o'clock this morning. James went and picked him up. And then he had a uh, fishing charter first thing this morning. So he had to roll out at like 4 o'clock this morning. So he didn't even get to dig or fish or nothing. So hopefully... Kiefer, hopefully your fishing trip goes better than yesterday oh, did yeah. for you, brother. I hope you kill it. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, check this out. We're walking down an old road. Very neat. Have you ever detected back here on this road, Tyler? Yeah, I found a um, Britannia silver quarter from 1889. Oh, that's awesome, yeah. brother. And uh, we found some large cents and some old relics. Heck yeah. Yeah, check out Tyler's channel, guys, the, the Copper Poppers. Tyler and James, they do a real good job metal detecting, and they're getting into bottle digging, so you're going to see a lot more of that in their upcoming videos as well. Plus, they also do uh, live auctions just like I do. Not quite as often, but they have some fantastic auctions. All right, we're going to just keep on walking down this road. Oh, I lost my bucket and my shovel carrying my tripod too i'm gonna set it up and we're gonna do a full dig 
Check it out. Absolutely beautiful back here. And you can see it comes out to a field, but there's an old foundation over in here. And uh, yesterday I was probing around it. Found something very interesting. Yeah, I figured we did sometime. Yeah, it probably is. It probably is. Adjust my tripod. Falling out of my <laughs> arm here. All right, we're just gonna walk up here. Show you a beautiful view you get to see this morning too. Heck yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. It's supposed to be in the 70s today. Don't ever get old that view around here. Man. Yes, yeah, this is, this is going to be real nice, guys, for you to see. We're going to walk out in this field. We're going to just walk around the edge of the wood line. Look at that coming up in front of you, would you? That's something spectacular for you to see this morning. And me, I love it. Nothing like being out in nature, way far away from everything. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? This field, as far as you can see, some kind of tower off in the distance. And we're walking right on the edge of this. You can see how high it is. This is what I was probing in yesterday. Look, this is almost six foot high. What in the world? I still am dumbfounded as to uh, how I found this, but I will tell you what was the key factor in this happening. <laughs> <That's the fly. laughs> Tyler's getting attacked by those biting flies. <laughs> Yeah, they, they freaking hurt you, man. They got me a couple times yesterday. When you get four or five of them on your face. But yeah, we're walking in here now. And uh, so what what was the key factor, guys? Tyler was able to pull up a map, an old map of this place. And it showed where a road came in. Well, the roads always came into the front of the property. They never went into the back of the property. So I determined where we were standing at at the time you'll see in the earlier part of the video based on either where we were standing or the opposite side would have been the front part and i went i went around to the other side there's like a small creek we're coming up on i'll show you and stuff and started probing what i thought was the back and then i went around to the other side so i knew a probability of where the back was at that time and uh i just went from there and so I'll show you what I get up here, what I found. Real excited, real excited. It's gonna be a good day. So we're just still walking up here. Oh my gosh, yeah, there is, man. There's, a, there's some monster deer running through here for sure. It's nice and dry, so it picks up all the tracks. You can see the hoof marks. See the hoof marks in the uh, ground there, the indentations. It was running right through here. I would imagine super early and, and right at dusk time, this field's probably loaded full of deer. Yeah, you can see they were running, slip sliding in the mud, having a good old time. So right in here is where the house was, 1860s. Older, I think. We found combats and stuff that's colonial here. Okay, so they're thinking that this, the uh, foundation is much older than 1860s. They found some early 1700s, even into the late 1600s stuff over in here. Metal detecting. So it's hard to tell what this privy is. But, so we're walking up in here, and I'm going to show you real quick the old foundation. There's, there's a creek or something comes in down through here. 
Yeah, we gotta find the best way in. Yeah. <laughs> There's a few different ways we could have came in, but we figured walking out through the field would have been the easiest. So now we're actually in the backyard. We're in the backyard now at this point. So you can see there's a creek there running through. You see that nice uh, big dip right there. You can see the front part of the foundation wall. Let me put my tools down. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to share that here in a second, Ty. Put my tools down real quick. Make sure my drink ain't going to fall over. There you go. So I can do some zoomage. So right now I'm standing on the edge of the back wall. You can see the old stone wall there. Underneath all the vines. Absolutely beautiful. And then over there on the other side. You can see the inside of the front wall. So the road came in on that side over there. That would have been the front. So I, I originally came in and probed all through there, right on the edge of the field and inside the wood line a little bit, all through that nasty, heavy, heavy stuff. Didn't find anything at all. Ground's real hard too. Came around. I saw this kind of cluster of trees here, which, uh, to me, it's kind of like a boundary line. You can see how they go around the back. So I came in here and started probing on the inside of this creek. And I noticed, first thing I noticed was this big dip. So if you're looking through here, let me drop down at this angle. Right past my bucket there, you see how there's kind of an indentation in the ground. It kind of sinks down real nice and it's bowl shaped. And it's probably about six feet wide. See that there? So, you know, I probed around the whole area and I hit that spot right there. And, uh, did we get the probe, Tyler? Or did I leave it? We lost it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta walk back and grab the probe real quick, but there's a privy right there I probed out. And then, I started making my cross pattern. Once you find one, you make your cross pattern. And then up here, there's actually another indentation right there I didn't see yesterday. You guys see that? That's another spot I need to probe. But right here, if you go in a straight line, pretty much. From Tyler, stand on that one real quick for me. Try to find this other one real quick. Here it is. Right here is another big sink. And uh, this one right here is actually full of glass. I couldn't probe in it hardly any at all without hitting a bottle. So right here is one. And then if you look directly across from me, there's Tyler. And I'm pretty sure that one that I just pointed out is in between us right in a line in between us so i'm about probably 98 percent sure that's going to be a third privy so we've got three privies to dig today i'm gonna run back and get the probe we're gonna start opening these bad boys up see what we can find today guys let's get it i was gonna do like a full live dig for you guys but my uh my battery charger thing is not working at the moment so i don't want to waste all my battery but check it out james literally or tyler just literally started digging you can see he's only maybe three shovelfuls in and he popped out an old silver plated spoon and you can see the indentation on the clod right there where it just came out so we got our first relic that's pretty neat heck yeah silver plated spoon in the hole Let's start that's neat that ought to clean up real pretty. It's probably early 1900s. Yeah, I, I would say so for sure. Let me get my zoom on here. Not wanting to focus on this bad boy. There we go. I thought it said something on there, but now it's just fancy. It probably does say something under the dirt right there. 
Yeah, there's a, I would imagine. There's a, a very famous silver plated plater back then. It starts with an S. I'll have to get back to it. I'll bet you that's what it is. But yeah, we got our first relic out of the hole, guys. I do have the tripod set up, so here momentarily. We're going to both tag team this hole, try to find one of the walls, and uh, we'll see you back. Ty's over here with the uh, pinpointer guys going through stuff. And check out this old gear he just popped out. Could have possibly been a coin at one time. That's so cool. That's that is cool. neat, man. Hey, see what I mean? Yeah, it's cool little here. relic already. And a spoon. That's sweet. You're doing better than I do melody. James is taking <laughs> his turn down in the hole. Definitely a privy, guys. We don't know exactly how deep it is yet. But I'll show you the shards coming out already. Look here. Got some early beers. Got some uh, crock pieces. Even salt glazed crock pieces coming out. Nice, real nice applied top. Amber uh, med, it would have been. Yep, another piece of uh, some kind of a Meadville beer. Brewing bottle. Some terracotta pipe. Ironstone pieces. You can see the what do you got now? Oh, some kind of... oh, it's a... A dice. It's a domino. Is this? Maybe. Maybe not. Or, God, it looked a like one. thing? <laughs> I don't know. Use your fingers on it. See if you can wipe it off. It looked like a bone dice. <laughs> yeah, it did. Like it is. It's a domino. Domino, that's right. Yeah, it's a domino. Yes, it is? Yeah, I think it is bone. It's like mounted onto something. Uh-huh, it had some kind of a... Like a little rivet or something going through it, you guys can see. I think it is bone. It's got two holes on this side and one on this side. That's pretty neat. Tyler's on the relics. What's that? Oh, a little, little horse James just popped out. Look horse? at that. It looks like a horse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little horse or a cow. It is some kind of figural for sure. You can even see like the rumpus on it. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Relics are coming out. Yes, sir, Bob Henry. Let's see if we can get one live. All kinds of little stuff in here. I guess Tyler's used to using the vibrate method, so <laughs> he's uh, he's on the vibrate mode, so you guys can't hear it. <laughs> no, I'm not getting any right now. Something here. Got something? Yeah, James just covered it up. Yeah. And it's a chunk of iron, but piece of iron. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna keep on working at it. Did you get the uh, the battery box thing? I don't have it here. Oh, you don't? It's in the cabin, He's I think. Turd. Yeah. All right, no problem. Yeah. So I can't record the whole dig, unfortunately, because I'm gonna get the other privies too. So I mean, we're not too far from the cabin if something happens and I lose battery altogether. But yeah, I'll show you the better finds. But that's cool. Two relics out of the hole. Three relics out of the hole already. Yeah. James is down in there. We don't know if we've encountered a clay cap or the bottom of this one yet, but we're going to keep working at it. We'll see you back. Check it out, guys. Tyler's freaking out right now. I got to see his expression. Heck yeah, <laughs> he's like, nice, he's like, oh my gosh, I got a button. It's an eagle button. We found some native yeah. ones here. Marine, or no, some, marine. Some early marine buttons. That's cool. That's exactly what it is. Is it? Yeah. It's a marine eagle button? Yeah, it's a cuff button. We, we didn't found find it. So what are those date? These are like, they're post-Civil War, like 1880s. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. I it's can see an anchor condition. on it. Dude, I threw yeah, all mine away. Stint. Nice, Ty. Oh, that's right. Dude, I'm so glad I got it. Tyler's on the relics, guys. Nice. Using my pinpointer over here. The Garrett <laughs> Carrot gets you one of them. Oh man, you gotta Best have one. It's a game changer yeah. right there. Nice, dude, that's, that's awesome. Garrett, if you want to send me a couple of them, that'd be <laughs> awesome. Nice yeah. shank on that sucker. I don't even need a metal detect I anymore. Know, what am I doing? Heck yeah, man. Let's see what else is in there. All he's doing, guys, is just the clods that James are throwing out, which we think is we think we're in a cat because a big piece of iron chamber pot just came out. Iron stone chamber pot. And all he's doing is just hitting the little clods with the pinpointers that come out. And Sweet oh, button, brother. That's yeah. awesome, man. Sweet. All right, guys. We'll see you right back. All 
All right, privy number one is done. Does look like it went back to about 1870s, 1880s, judging by the shard pile. And uh, you can see right here, real nice remnants of what used to be. One button did come out, one marine button. That was pretty neat. That would have been real nice there. You can see a couple Meadville beers, quite a few broken crocs. It was only about four foot deep. We are going to uh, metal detect as we put the pile back in. A lot of iron, a lot of nails and stuff like that in there. But we're going to fill this one. we got two more to dig. So hopefully some full stuff comes out of the hole. So far, here's our keepers. All were found with the uh, pinpointer. Button, a spoon, a handle off of a chest. And possibly like a coin gear. I'm not sure, but... That's what we got so far to show for it. James finally made it out here to join us. That's right. And Tyler with his nice uh, sombrero <laughs> on over there. All right, guys, we got the we got the metal detectors, the pinpointers. We're in a definitely an old area, old foundation right there. That was a fairly large house, actually, now that I look at it. So we're going to keep going, see what else we can get into. See you back. All righty. These guys are over there trying to locate the privy. I figured I'd do a little bit of swinging over here. I don't really particularly like woods hunting, but when you're finding stuff like that, I can tolerate. I did find a, another flat button on the surface, but this is a big old dandy. Have something on it. Mm, it might. It could. I have to clean it up better later, but yeah, man, dandy button. That's like late 1700s, early, early sweetness. All right, let's get some move. Out here, metal detecting the uh, field on the outskirt of this old foundation where we're digging privies. And uh, Tyler says he's got some silver. Let's go up here and see what it is. Is that a button? Yeah. Dang, that's cool, man. Is this 925 over 100 or? 925 over a dash 1000. Silverback. Yeah, silver button for Tyler. Sweet. Heck yeah, brother. You're killing it on the relics today. Yeah. Nice, man. Yeah, get, on, uh, get on some more, and that's here. Yes, sir. Right, just a little creek. I got to go get some batteries for mine, but all right, guys, we're going to keep working at it. We'll see you back. Some more relics just popped out of the field back behind us, guys. Check it out. Tyler's got a little bale seal. I believe it says the company on it. The AO company? The AO. Yeah, you're right. AG. AG company. The AG company. Anybody know what that is? It's an AG gold and uh, the periodic table. On both sides of it. The AG company. Yeah, that's, that's cool, man. And then a little hem weight. A little hmm. dress hem weight for the big hoop skirts. Safe to say, we're yeah. going to do some detecting, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to go get some batteries for my detector and come back and join. Tyler and James and we're gonna hit this field pretty hard all right we'll all right guys I'm out here in the middle of this field with the copper poppers That's behind right. the old old foundation that we've been back in there digging some trash pits a little tiny privy no full bottles at all but some cool relics have come out though and uh so we're out here metal detecting James literally just dropped down and uh check it out right there He's got a flatty in the hole. Oh, it's all plow schwacked up. Yeah, it is. That's a big old dandy, though. Is that what it is, a dandy? Yep. Dang, man. So that's, what, 1700s? Late 1700s, early 1800s, Look yeah. Look at that, guys. That's Shank what I'm mark. talking about. That's cool, man. Heck yeah, dude. What'd that fire up? That was at 11-12 on the Knox. 11-12 on the Knox. He's using the Mine Lab. What are you using, Tyler? CTX, Mine Lab CTX. Both of y'all running the mine lab? Somewhere around that. 
and I'm running the uh, Nocta Impact Pro. I haven't even turned it on yet, but we're going to see how they do against each other, I guess. We're just out here in the middle of this wide open field. Let's see what we can find. Let's get it. Couple couple inches from where Tyler just dug that James. real nice dandy. <laughs> James He's got it. James. I keep getting them mixed up. Perfect dead 18, 19. Yeah, look at that. I mean, guys. I dug that dandy right there. The dandy was right there, and then half a foot away. He's got a real nice 18, 19 signal. We're going to live dig it. Yeah, dude. It could be. It could be like a cob or something gross. Yeah. Oh, it's out in there. Oh. Is that where it's at? Uh, it's just a little rivet a little or something. Rivet. A little washer. You Dang, can just delete bro. that. <laughs> I got a signal right there. Oh, yeah. You got a signal too? Yeah. We're going to we're gonna do two live digs. I ain't deleting it. I'm using it. <laughs> that was a similar signal to James. It's 11.35. Took mine to the washer. 11.35? Yep. What's that mean? So the first number in the CTX, it uh, tells a Ferris number. So typically the lower it goes, the better the target. Really? Yeah. Okay. For those of you that didn't know that, and the 35, about like an Indian or a small silver signal. It's right in that little spot. I should have it. Yes, sir. There it is. Somewhere in there. Oh. Dropped it. Dropped it right on it. What is that? What is that little thing? Okay. I don't know, it looks like aluminum. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. That looks like a cap off something maybe. I have no idea. Huh. Bazinga maybe or some maybe some oh. kind of a button. Maybe be pewter button. I don't know. That's two two great live digs in there. <laughs> yep, see back. Alright guys, James is digging my 97, 98 signal. It's not too deep. Should should be right in there. My pinpointer battery's died. Yeah, I think it's right in there, man. Oh, gosh. What's it gonna be? Getting smaller. Ah. I think I see a piece of it. Yeah. I think it's a little blob of either lead. Yeah, it's a little blob of lead. A little lead aluminum. blob. A I nice, think you're right with that nice white little stain on it. Yeah. And they might be, could be aluminum. You can melt a little blob of aluminum. But that was a good little, di little dig. It sounded great. I know it did. All right, well, there's my first signal, guys. Nice. See you back. All right, guys, I just dug a 59 signal. You can see it was only about six, seven inches down. There it is in the top of my plug right there. And look at that. It's like a round ball that has been made into like a bead, I believe. See that? I believe it goes all the way through there. Pretty cool. I've got a couple pieces of lead. Nothing crazy, but me and James, are, he's right out there. He just dug a piece of a crotal bell. But that's pretty neat. A beaded round ball. See back. All right, had a pretty decent signal here. Dug it up. Make sure there's nothing else in the hole. Dug it up. Got a coin. Looks to be an Indian. Oh, a gorgeous one. 1905. Wow. Backside too. Whoo! It's got a little bit of like a warp to it, but dang, that thing is beautiful. Bugs are getting bad. Nice, let's get some more of that stuff. Yeah. All right, guys, we're out here on a historic creek today with Tyler from the Copper Poppers behind me pulling a signal. And then right here behind me, we've got Rich from the Pennsylvania 
PA relic, relic hunters. hunters. PA relic hunters. First time digging with him. Appreciate you coming out, brother. Awesome, man. I'm happy to be it here. It was real nice meeting you this morning. I'm still a little half asleep, guys. <laughs> I've been digging for like five days straight now. But uh, yeah, we're going to be doing some river metal detecting today. First time ever doing that, so pretty excited about it. And like I said, we are out here on a historic creek. A lot, a lot of really cool stuff happened. I'm not going to tell you about it because I don't want to give the location away. But let me flip you around and show you a little bit. So apparently some really famous people stayed here, including, including George Washington at one time. You got a good signal? I don't even know how this is going to work. I got a regular shovel. Rich has got some kind of special scoop thing. I got it. I don't know if I'll use it yet. but. So we're going to see how this works. You already pulled it, Tyler? Uh, that's a plug. I just seen a porcelain plug right there. Is that what you were hitting? Uh, oh. Out of 1718 here. 18 They're running mine labs. And I'm using the Nocta Impact Pro again. But we're going to do a live live river signal dig we'll right try here. To. Try to. See how this works. Current's a little little swift, but... That's a 20. Hitting a 20 solid. Is that good? Yeah, it's like a penny. I mean, it could be... The river's nice and clear, too. That's a perfect day for it, brother. Water's warm once you get in here. I'm to it. What's it gonna be? Start off with a copper, it'd be nice. That'd be awesome. Oh. Is that what it is? That wire? I think maybe. Yeah. Let me double check. Piece He's of on. copper wire. That's what it was. I guess, but it's not even bringing up. It ain't. Yeah, maybe maybe the current got rid of it for you. Yeah, I guess it's gone. Dang. <laughs> Alright, well, nothing on the first signal. A little piece of wire, but the main signal's gone. Not sure what happened there. But I'm gonna Good turn mine on and right we're gonna start start swinging. So we can get into it, guys. Stay tuned for the action. Yeah, all right guys, I finally got my detector powered up. It was giving me a little bit of technical difficulties here. And we got the first relic already, Tyler to popped out. Check that out. Sweet hem weight. Dang, that's in really good shape. River food, uh, wow. floods are gonna come out. If we get my goodness. Here, I know what you're thinking. Why would, be a hem, why would a hem weight be in the water? So hem weights were used to keep their dresses down and keep it so that way their dresses didn't pop up. But back in the 1910, 1920s, they didn't wear swimsuits. They wore out, they would walk out in their dresses and yeah. they'd hike them up a little bit. And I guess a weight could have fallen out right then. So Really? Yeah, so they bathed in their everyday they attire. Just, they would take their dresses, they'd hike them up a little bit with their stockings. Yeah. They'd walk out and then they'd, they could have possibly... That's cool. About it, man. They Appreciate that, down, Rich. They were coming down from the, the, where they lived and they were getting water for bathing and everything. It was any of that. And this any was a schoolhouse at one point. Right. So kids the kids been, were coming down here and playing. Kids been there was an old schoolhouse on site at one point back here, guys. So it's hard to tell what all we're gonna find in here. But I'm finally get, able to get out in the water and uh, we're gonna see what else we can get. Just don't touch the volume. No, Rich is on a good signal, guys. Tyler's on a good signal. And I'm on a 94, 96, right there where that little fish is in there swimming around. Let's see. Uh, mine's junk, Rich. It is? Yeah, I found it. What is it? Some kind of bracelet or band or something. Well, it might be gold. Nah, it's hitting real high. If anything, it's silver. Ugh. Some kind of brass. Bracelet? Can you come film me for a second since you got yours? Hey, I'm fully committed now. What'd you get, Rich? What is it? It's a square nail. It's a square nail? That's huge. 
Big square nail. Good guy. It's like a spike. Like a tent spike. That's like a tent spike. Brass? No, it's iron. Here, you ready? Oh, you got that? Yeah. Go ahead, do your thing. What's that? Tyler got a cool little bracelet. Something. Piece of a bracelet, maybe. Yeah. All right, let me film you, bud. You got a good signal? Hit that with your detector right there. See where I got cleared out? Yeah, right there. It's not very big. Yeah, somewhere in that little hole. That's where you want to look. So if you kick that stuff away, okay, you might be, Let's see. get a better signal. Getting it one. Oh, it is small. Yeah, you got to move that sill. I right bet you. there. It says it's almost eight inches deep. Probably just in their crevice there. Yeah, it's nice. It's it's great. I would dig right to there. Here's the uh, nail. Look oh, that look at the size of that square nail. That's like a tent spike. Yeah, that thing's that's nice. That's really cool. That's Rich. what we need. That's that's the age we're looking for. Yeah, that's, that's old. That's definitely that's an old piece right there. 1800s for sure. Definitely, if not older. All right, guys, I'm All gonna right, attempt to. My favorite find find this one. My detector Sweet. is not fully waterproof like East Bell. Here, I'll, I'll get you started. We'll get it started <laughs> and then see if like I can pull it up and move it. Alright. Because it, it will still sink no matter if it's... Well, mine is reading really high like silver stick. Well, I mean like... It could be... It you... won't wash away. Right, right. So I'm right. going to push it out. Okay. Let the dirt move. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Let that silt get away, then you can see. No? I don't know. Hold on a second. Let me move this big one. Right there. It's still there. Still down in there. Still down in there. That's man. a good sign. Hopefully. Pop up a Spanish one real. That'd yeah, be... I know. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Tell you what, guys, for those of, of the ones that do river detecting on the daily all the time, props to you because this is tough. Ooh, it might be out. You see the Hoover boys doing this stuff a lot. And... Oh, it might be out. You hearing it? I moved it. It's right here. All right, get that pinpointer in there. Okay, it's you now. It's all yeah, you. I'll hold your machine. Definitely moved it because it was over here before. It's sitting right in here somewhere. You hear it? Yeah. Uh oh. It's like a big handful up. Yep. Just a big old handful of dirt. We should have gloves on. In the glass. A little cut won't hurt you. <laughs> Got water to clean it, right? Yeah. Did you lose it? No, it's right here. Dig deep, get a pile. I'm already soaked. I'm fully committed. Got it? Yep. Oh, oh man. there it goes. Oh, there it is. It was a it was I think, I think it was a metal was, spike. Yeah, I think it was another big square dead piece. I definitely yeah. saw it. It's tough because until you clear stuff, hey, look at all the little fish. Oh, yeah. There it is. Hey, it's a big old nail. It is one. Yeah, big square nail. Hey, that's the stuff we want to find, though. Heck yeah, man. That's that's nice still. We'll get, oh, that's hey, mark my words. We're getting on some coins today. Well, it was that definitely a small target. I don't know if that was it or not. That might have been a piece of iron that was just in the, in the way. You still picking it up? Yeah, there's something else in there. It's low, it's iron. Oh, it is? Yeah. That was the hot really time. Yeah, yeah, you know what? That was that halo effect. Yeah, you're getting that halo effect until you break it. So that you know about the halo effect? Uh-oh, what's that? So what's when that? you hit on the edge of a nail, it will give a halo almost like it's a coin. Not even, no, not just the edge of a nail. Any iron, 
So what it does is as it's in the ground, it starts to deteriorate and then that rust builds up. It actually builds this like, it, sound, it gives good conductivity. So that's where pinpoint comes in so you know how big it is. But sometimes when it's a small piece of iron, it'll give you a halo over it and you'll sound so good. You're like, oh dude, this is the best. And all of a sudden you'll dig it and you'll break that halo mark where it's given at. And all of a sudden it sounds horrible because mm -hmm. it's it just now, you okay. find it's iron. Dang. So, all right. sometimes even when you find iron, you'll hear it, it'll give you all high signals, but they're jumping, all high signals. Sometimes it's good, maybe it could be something good with a piece of iron, but I still dig those just because, you never know. Right. Right. You just don't know. Heck yeah. Cool, man. All right, well, well thanks for the assistance, fellas. Yes, sir, yeah. we'll get on it, buddy. Get back at it. All right, well, my detector got wet and is malfunctioning at the moment, so. I got a good signal. I'm gonna come out here and record these fellas and know what they're doing. Got the right equipment for this kind of stuff. Potato. Potato. It's a freaking potato. <laughs> <laughs> there wow, you go. Fine, buddy. That potato. Was <laughs> Heck with pulled pork, we're eating potatoes yeah. for today. <laughs> Potatoes out of the river. Here you go, here's a good one. You want to read that? Yeah. What it is, I have no idea. But it's small. Watch. Wait, where's that? Right there. It's small. Yeah, it is. So. Dang, that's cool. That pinpoint works on that. Pretty deep too. Yeah, I've been moving some stuff. So. Trying to get it out. Alright, now I'm going to go in with the pinpointer. It's hard because the current wants to take the freaking detector with it. Yeah. So I got it like hooked to my leg to see if I could keep it in there. Right there. There it is. Dang, that was awesome how, how you pulled that off. Like that. Piece Real of, quick. It's a piece of lead, I think. Sure looks like it. I don't know what that would have been from. It's heavy. Feel it. It might be lead. It could be iron, too. I don't know why it was reading so high. I don't know either. Check that out, guys. It is heavy, real heavy. Well, that was definitely it. That was it? Yeah, definitely. All right, well, they're going to keep on working at it. Go. Hopefully mine. We're only going to go for a little bit long. We don't want to ruin his day. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's on something. They're fast at pulling signals too, guys. I am not. Years of practice, buddy. Years of practice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out of out of my comfort zone right at the moment. What's that one reading, Tyler? It's like a 14, like a nickel signal, but that could be a little be a high for a nickel. A little high? Yeah, I mean, it could be war nickels. War could nickels be, are 14, 15. Could be a gold ring. Is it? So it could be. Oh yeah, could be. What is this? Oh man, I thought that was an error for a minute. It's some kind of stuff. It's some polish. Uh -huh. Yeah, real polish. It, it looked good. Knife. It looked good in the water. I think I seen it. I thought I seen an edge. Yeah, me too. Sticking up. You see these crevices right here? Yeah. That's where you want to look. There it is, I think. Yeah, that's a rock. That's where it is, right in that little crevice. Yeah. That's what. That's what from the videos I've watched. That's what catches most of the heavy stuff. Ooh. Oh, there it That's is. That's what it is, a big piece of big iron. Big old nut. Jeez. Friggin' nut. Ah, oh, you're nuts, man. Iron boys over here. <laughs> this is awesome. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful, though. It's gorgeous out here today. All right, guys. See you back on the next one. Tyler's working on a uh, nice 1920 signal, guys. Just pulled that big rock up and it's underneath of it. It's a 
going to be? Could be an Indian. Aluminum. A uh, knife. An aluminum? Uh, knife, I think. Yeah. No, it's just uh, a sheet just of aluminum. Piece of junk. Sheet of aluminum. Zinga. That is the crazy That's one. usually what you find. That's it. That's the majority yeah. of it. Definitely. <laughs> All right, guys. See you back. Tyler's got a gold ring, we think, guys. Oh, my gosh. Hold on a minute. Let me try to get like an underwater slow motion pickup yeah, of it. Yeah, definitely. Get in there, man. That thing ain't going. Dude, I walked yeah. over, swung my detector at a 15, I looked down, and it's on the surface. Oh my god. Great. Tyler. Right yeah, there. I see Tungsten carbide. Ah, <laughs> dude. It's still, though. It's still a ring, man. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. That's super light. Yeah. Super light. Ah. Oh. Well, now we know what tungsten carbide rings up. All right. <laughs> see if there's any markings in it. I didn't see any. It's not here. Let me see one more. That's pretty cool. Dang, that makes me think there's a gold one. Oh, dude, I, awesome, you had bro. me all the way. I thought so for sure. It's a great, great fun. Heck yeah. Yeah, there it is right there. That's the first it. ring I've ever it's seen a come out Triton, of the river. Those uh, Triton. Triton ones. Yeah, it's tungsten carbide. It's right there. It's like etched into it. Cool, man. First ring of the year, actually. Dude, that's awesome. Wait. What? Titanium. Titanium. Titanium's. Oh, platinum. You don't want. No, it's, titanium's. Yeah, platinum's the one you're thinking of. Titanium. Yeah, I was thinking. Sheet. Yeah, all right. I got excited. <laughs> I'm like, wait. <laughs> nah. Platinum's the one you want. Titanium. Oh, Even I see still, it. Man. Yeah. Heck yeah, brother. Even oh. still. Hey, you're fine, Ty. Set, <laughs> see you back, guys. Cool. So Tyler just popped out. Nice Bottom relic. Popper. We're on a uh, 1860s, 1870s permission that they just actually got. Cool, man. That's Sucrets. You ever hear of Sucrets? Sucrets token. They're like um, good luck token. Sore throat uh, lozenges, right? Oh, nice. Yeah. Does it have a date on it, Tyler? No, uh, that's from the 30s. From just the 30s? Yeah. Okay. Cool, man. That's what we need. All right, well, there's the old place. We are uh, just going to keep metal detecting and seeing what we can find. Let's get, see you back. I walked over because they, uh, they were over there. Not many times did I actually get it in the clump. I have no idea what it is yet, guys. We got no a idea. signal in the clump. I just popped out a little... Uh, underwear button made out of aluminum yeah solid so, 20 signal this good. one uh we're hoping for silver but you can see you don't see it at all but it's definitely in there something's in there what did it ring up uh 45, 45 well for him it's equinox is reading 29 oh, 30. Suspense is killing me dude oh still nothing what oh don't be a penny no way. Don't be a penny. What? Are it's you kidding high. me? It better be at least a weedy. It was hitting a 45. It's Canadian, that's why. Aww. It's a Canadian penny. Canadian penny. Canadian right. penny. I've never found one of those. That's kind of cool. Yeah, not too bad, I guess. Uh, not what I was expecting or wanting, but <laughs> yeah. what the hey? Right, it's coinage. It's coinage. <laughs> Look here, guys. Canadian penny, a little button, and a uh, token so far. 1955. 1955. All yeah, right. Silver. That means we're silver. Yeah, silver we're going to keep at it. We'll see you back. Check it out, guys. Rich. Got him a nice lock. Keystone. Uh, never get out, dug one of these ones. Keystone. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's nice. nice. Heck yeah, bro. Real neat piece. Sweet. Love doing it. What are you doing? You getting anything good? Nah. Uh, got a bunch of plaid dimes. He's doing really well. Yeah, with like four or five <laughs> plaid dimes. Dang, man. Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> I got a signal over here. I ain't found just yet. Yeah, 
Guys, I just popped that solid 17 signal right there. I don't know exactly what it is, but it does look like it has some words going around it and stuff. May I touch it? Yeah, absolutely. Let's hope for an eagle. That's all I want is now. <laughs> oh, it's too lightweight. It is? Yeah. No, it's a belt. It's a belt. See what I see on the back. Oh, it's definitely it's got some something. fancy on it. It's got like a bust on there. Yeah, it's it a bust does. on there. That's cool. Look at that bug just did to me. Jeez. Made me bleed. <laughs> Nobody makes Jeez, me bleed. It's got a bust blood. on it. What yeah, in it's the got world? Like a, it's the outside, so let's see what this side does. That's crazy. I was hoping it was one Let of me, uh, let's get this cleaned up. We'll be right back at you. Yeah. All right, guys, we got a slight ID anyway. Rich says it says, it says Ellis. Ellis. How? How? Junior. Junior. Uh, don't know what this says here, but it says New York, USA here. Something New York, USA. Uh, it definitely wrapped around something. Yeah. Or it was actually, it may have been flat, actually. It got curled. Well, you can see how it has points. Yeah, so it was it was flat at one time. Uh, we'll have to look it up, but I don't, I, I really don't know what that is just yet. Oh, wait, Inventor? Inventor. Inventor, yeah, inventor, maker, New York, maybe. All right, I got the, took the case off the phone. I wanted to show you that up close, guys. Check that out. Ellis Howe Jr. That's neat. Some kind of a plate or a sash or... It's pretty cool. Heck yeah, solid 17. Can't beat that, man. <laughs> That's a nice piece. Right That's there. cool, man. All right, guys. We're going to keep on working at it. See you back. All right. So we got we just got this new permission. Uh, it says it's 1863. Or I'm sorry. Yeah, 1863. Um, my very first signal was a 1920 on the Equinox. It was a little higher than normal, but it's a Indian Head Penny, 1907. We're actually going to give it back to the homeowner. Uh, he's trying to keep track of some of the stuff he gets out of here. It'll be pretty cool for him. So Can you hold that for yeah, a definitely, man. It's a nice piece. It's a 1907, 1907 Indian Head Penny. Very cool. Saving history. And I got a uh, 1718 in the hole I'm working on, so go over there and check that out. Yeah, that's cool, Rich. Definitely. Nice, brother. Sweet. Let's go. Let's go find something else. Tyler's right there. We got, this is probably going to be our last stop for the day, and then we got to get out of here, but yeah. It's been a fun, fun weekend. I'm going to see you guys back over here on my. All right, guys, check this out. Let's pop that solid 19 signal. Cool little uh, suspender clasp or some kind of a buckle there. Kind of neat. That's the first uh, relic other than, other than uh, pull tabs that I've gotten. But that's kind of cool. See you back.